Okay, the next thing I'm going to do here is get my piston set up. So we've got a brand new 30 over piston and rings and the guy that machined the engine also uh, did the ring gap for me so I don't have to worry about that. So, let's see, I'm going to take out this piston here. Here's our new piston. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by putting on the bottom ring, the oil ring, which is a three-piece ring. So, let's see. You know, there's a couple pieces here. So, we got to start by putting this ring down here in the lower groove, and then this oil scraper piece, and then the next ring. Uh, I'm going to not be able to hold the phone and make this video, but we start by putting those in. That's the first step. Okay, I've got all three rings on my piston here. Now the most important thing is to make sure that the gap on the rings uh, are staggered from each other, that they're not all lined up. Otherwise you'll get uh, blow-by from the oil, which is what we don't want. Um, I usually just stagger mine each by like 180 degrees so that they're on the opposite sides of the piston from each other. Um, the next thing here is that we're going to put our rod on our piston. So here I've got a brand new uh, 10 under rod. Take that out of the package here. See. So here's our rod here. Now the rod has an oil hole in it, which let's see, I'm find that down here. See that hole right there? That oil hole has to line up with your camshaft when you actually install this um, into the machine. But for now, we're just going to drop our rod into our piston here. And we're going to take our piston pin and we're going to put that right through uh, the rod into the piston and then put our two retainer clips uh, over that. Okay, so now I've got my rod and my piston. I've got the retainer clips in there holding it together. And this is really a nice setup here. Um, there's no slop in it whatsoever. If you take that piston and try to move it up and down, if it's perfectly in that rod, the piston pin is great. Now this particular piston I have here does not have a marking on it as far as which side points to the flywheel. Um, some of the pistons have a marking. This doesn't have that. Uh, the Kohler manual refers to this piston as piston type A, which can be installed into the cylinder facing any direction. So. Um, that's the next step is I'm actually going to load up this piston with some oil and push it down in the bore. I have a ring compressor. I may use that or if it goes in easy sometimes you can just compress the rings with your fingers and push it down. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sharpie here and make a mark on my cap on my rod bearings here and just draw a line across them so that I know which direction that rod cap lined up and when I insert this into the bore I'm going to make sure again that this little oil hole down here is oriented where the crankshaft is and that's going to be the next step. Okay so I've got my ring compressor out and I got my piston in there. I'm going to actually Pour some oil in there. I can get some lubrication on this thing. And I'm going to crank down uh, this ring compressor and get the rings nice and tight. Okay, I've got it nice and tight. I'm just going to take this wooden hammer handle and give this thing a little tap, and my piston will go right in. Okay, now I've got my ring compressor off. I got my piston in. I should be able to push it right down the bore right now. So what I'm actually going to do is um, flip this thing over on its side so I can see the rod and in the inside of the engine. Okay, now you can see the rod is coming down from the piston. And I just got to get it onto the crankshaft there. And then I got to put my end cap back on my two bolts and torque them down. 
Okay, I just put the oil seals in. I just remembered that I forgot to do that. Which I took this wrench, this eighth inch wrench, and I just kind of put that over the seal and I hit it with a hammer on the edge and I drove it right in. I did both sides with that. I got my rod all torqued up with the torque wrench and I followed the torque specs in the Kohler manual. They tell you to over tighten the rod 20% uh, from what it should be then loosen it and then retorque it to the correct uh, reading. So that's what I've done. So at this point everything inside of our engine is together. Um, before I finalize everything I'm probably going to pour a little more oil into those bearings there. Uh, but at this point I could put the oil pan on next. Um, I'm going to paint it though before I put it together. This is the oil pan here. It's a little rusty. I'm just going to wire brush it a little bit and paint it up before I reassemble that. This is the old piston which is a piece of junk. Um, the rings are so shot that you know they don't even have any spring left in them. You can't even tell there's rings on there. They're so shot. So that, that sucker is going in the garbage. You like the oil on the inside of it. Uh, it's a nice one. So anyways, that's it for today.